I really need to start previewing of my uh, windows before I start playing. Hey there everyone, Dr. Novocaine, on the clock with Mega Man 4 Special Weapons Run. Yes, I'm finally getting to this after some rather long detours. Anyway, we actually have story this time. Uh, even though it's really basically just the story of what led up to the previous three games. Those are some surprisingly ineffective explosions. The city doesn't seem to be really taking that much damage. And here we see Rock before he was Mega Man. Uh, and that didn't really last very long, did it? Lots of bright flashing lights. Is that how you make a fighting robot? Rise and shine. Too much evil to defeat. You can't just laze around like that. Oh hey, train ride! But Mega Man's on top, does that mean he didn't buy a ticket? World peace has been maintained so far, but history repeats itself. Except not quite, because this time it's someone else. A mysterious scientist. Ooh. I wonder where he's from. This time equipped with the powerful new Mega Buster! Yes, we have charged shots, and I am happy. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's get this show on the road. Now, this being a special weapons run, I want to start where I know I can get a good special weapon. I wonder where that would be. One that lasts long, is powerful, and maybe can be fired in multiple directions. Yes, it's predictable. I'm starting at Pharaoh Man. Now you won't be getting to see a whole lot of Mega Buster, so we're gonna make it happen in this stage. But yeah, aside from that, it's not gonna be making many appearances. So I'm sure you're all terribly disappointed, but. Mega Man 4 kind of is the start of what I consider to be the second trilogy, I suppose. Um, and it's not a technical uh, differentiation between the two, but there's kind of a, some thematic elements that are different between the uh, first three and then the second three. One, uh, Mega Man has the Mega Buster, which kind of, which really drastically changes the gameplay if you're not relying solely on special weapons. And maybe I should actually use it rather than just running my face into everything. Oh hey, Balloon Adapter. Fun fact, I played this game a lot, a long time before I uh, ever knew about the Balloon Adapter. Um, something like 15 years. Yes, indeed. Anyway, yes, the Mega Buster drastically changes the game because it makes the Buster weapon way more powerful and effective, and kind of it kind of diminishes the importance of the special weapons, especially since you can defeat a lot of bosses with it with just the Mega Buster and nothing else. The second set of three is also the time where uh, Dr. Wily stops just being basic Dr. Wily and starts trying to uh, use other people as kind of his foils for the uh, for his plans. Spoiler alert, he does that in the other two games too, as if you didn't know that already. So yeah, I feel I kind of feel like the games were made in such a way that uh, there's a kind of a difference in the way the uh, first three and the second three, you know, just are. 
and I'm already at Ferroman. That was pretty quick. Yeah, this is also the time where the bosses start getting kind of simpler, I would say. I'm not kind of showing it that well against Pharaoh Man. He's one of the harder of... He's probably one of the harder of uh, Mega Man 4. I, ha I can do a lot better on him, though. <laughs> I just need to get used to him again. But yeah, from... In 4 is where they start kind of getting to be on the easier side in general. There's still... Mega Man 4 still has its share of challenges in the bosses. But, uh, there are also some where it's just kind of... Ah. I would really like to do this in the first uh, go-around. <laughs> there are some bosses in this game that are just kind of really surprisingly ineffective. The weird thing is, some of them are actually harder with their special weapon than with the Buster. We'll, ge we'll be getting to that. Fruit Man likes to uh, be kind of random, but if he does that a lot, it makes him a lot easier. Because it's an easy attack to avoid. And there we go. Finally, a little bit... Took that a little bit too close. But, I succeeded, and now I have the best special weapon in the game. The Pharaoh Shot. We have this slow scene, which does not actually demonstrate the weapons. That didn't start until... Mega Man 6, actually. Alright, well, now that we have that... Hmm... I'm kind of wondering who to go to next, because... Well, let's go with Ringman. Gonna try and keep up a pace of two stages per video, as I have done in previous special weapons runs. Whoa! And yeah, we're gonna have to move quickly. So, the Pharaoh Shot. It is also chargeable, which is one of the reasons which is that me. it's such a useful weapon. And the shot can be held over Mega Man. And if the shot is stronger than the enemy, stronger than the enemy's health, it will destroy the enemy without losing the charge. It is easily one of the best weapons that's ever been made for a Mega Man game. Not to say nothing of just this life, this game. Although, Mega Man 4 does have a decent selection of special weapons, in my opinion. Um, powerful and useful. And not too, uh, not too shabby in the uh, energy department, either. Some of them are... Uh, they, not all of them are as good as... Uh, uh, like Mega Man 2 and 3 in uh, energy use, but they're still pretty good. Here's another reason it's so good. Uh, Pharaoh Shock's so good. You hold, hold the charge? Whoa! The only problem is some you gotta have a uh, time to charge it, otherwise that uh, fades away. But yes, it also fires directionally, and 
is useful for farming. <coughs> ah! Yes, it fires directionally, and uh, if you spend the charge, you can still fire it off at full charge. It's just all around. It's just so. <laughs> it's so good that it probably should have been. It probably should be nerfed. And I expect that in a lot of games, in a lot of hacks. Not that there are that many hacks for this game, but. I suspect that it is. Unfortunately, it's no good against those uh, crawlers, so I'm just gonna have to deal with that. Those guys are annoying, and I am so glad that Pharaoh Shot takes them down fast. And we have the rule of two. Mini bosses appear twice. Since we have two mini bosses, we're gonna have a full four mini bosses in this one stage alone. I don't think that's been in any other game. I like a little bit of weapon energy. Even if I can't have can kind of cheese the weapon energy for Pharaoh Shot a bit. It's, I don't want to be running out when I'm in Ring Man. Because that would be bad. But uh, Hippo here isn't cooperating. <laughs> Although he is being nice enough to give me an extra life. I will take that. Ah, there we go. And that's taken care of. Ah yes, another difference between the first three are... Oh no, wait. Rush was in Mega Man 3. I, I'm silly. However, Eddie, however, was not. Yes, this is the first appearance of our helpful item giver, Eddie. I also could have used the balloon adapter there, and... I almost forgot that this is a special weapons run. Um... Uh... Best not waste a lot of time with these guys. They are a bit of a pain. Whoa! Ringman stage definitely has some challenges. Okay. <laughs> That's how you cheese uh, the weapon energy for a pharaoh sh shot. If you happen to lose the charge, you can... You don't actually... It doesn't actually spend any energy at that point. So, wah! You can uh, go back into the menu screen and get your charge back over your head without spending any energy. Kinda nice that way. That way and many other ways. And die! And gotta move fast! Yeah, those guys are a little bit more annoying if you don't have the Pharaoh shot. And now we're up to Ringman. Ringman isn't, uh... There's a pattern to Ringman, but I've never been that good at getting him into it. Fortunately, I'm so much more powerful than him that it doesn't matter that much. That's another boss down, and then we get the Ring Boomerang, which is also very useful. The Ring Boomerang, um... The projectile travels through enemies, so it can actually defeat some shielded enemies. You'll be seeing a lot of it, because... As with Pharaoh Shot, it's a very good weapon. Pharaoh Shot is the keystone weapon, but Ring Boomerang is a very good follow-up. Uh, but I think that I will leave this video off for here, and then start the next video at the next boss. Dust man, I'm looking at you! But that's for next time. Until then, this is Doc, and I'll see you later.